Good Saturday morning and welcome to another edition of the award-winning Outdoors with Larry Ray. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Now, here's your host, Larry Ray. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome to Outdoors with Larry Ray. We talk outdoors for the next 90 minutes here on AM 790 uh, in the Grizzly Room here with Shelby McCall as our show producer. And this is Second Saturday and he's here. Uh, and I'm really anxious to talk to Ron Wong today because uh, of the weather and the up and down, and a lot of folks are now uh, completed the deer and the duck season, and Ron, they're back out there with you now. So, yes, uh, they are. Good yeah. morning, everybody. <laughs> Good morning, Larry. Yes, Good yes, morning, yes, yes, Shelby. Yes, yes. Yeah, and you've got a little uh, surprise guest in here that I'm really glad to uh, talk to, uh, our good friend Bob Brown and Bob, what's he going to talk about when we talk to him later, Ron? I, I think uh, good stuff from Lou's. Yeah, they've got uh, some stuff they uh, had introduced last year. They're starting to get it all in stock, so they're able to ship out to the stores now. And uh, they've got yes. some really, really nice well, high-end stuff now that is uh, well, that's really, all really awesome. And that's all you use is high-end well, stuff. I mean, you're, yes or no? You're I, Mr. High-end. Well, yeah. I don't know because... <laughs> Their KVD line of yes. rods and reels are very, very affordable and excellent gear. Well, there you go. I'm, See? Ta- I'm talking about yeah. reels and rods for under $150. Under. I like under. Yeah. That's one of my favorite things, no, it's, under, not and, over. And they are know. very affordable. And, and Bob and is the man that designs a lot of it. I mean, all he's, of it. Yeah. I mean, he's the man. So Bob Brown is on our list today. Hey, we're going to talk to Keith Warner, uh, my my favorite gunsmith here in Memphis. Uh, known Keith since he was a young man working for uh, High Smith and uh, all the guys out at Dattle Sports. Uh, what to do with your rifle and your shotgun after the seasons have ended? We're going to talk to Keith. Uh, hope to hook up to our Little Red River uh, report, guys. We were going to do it last week and pushed it to this week with uh, all the folks at Menzies Resort. Then this is it, Ron, the hundred and twentieth running of the national bird dog championship all right that is a long time ron and i you know, know I, that, that's, that's a, before that, me and you all right okay a little bit a, a little bit but it is an amazing event it's getting ready to kick off uh tonight with the they'll make the drawings of which dogs will be paired off or what they call braces yep so we're going to talk to rick carlisle he is the uh, uh director out at the Ames plantation for the university of tennessee but he's also Secretary Treasurer for the field trials too, and we're going to talk that. And then, uh, hey man, I've got a guest that uh, to, to end this thing is the is the uh, Gary Lester out of Kentucky. Gary, uh, dog won it last year. He's won six times. I was getting ready to say he is a multiple winner. <laughs> yes, multiple winner. And I've got our list, Ron. I'm going to pass it down oh, to you yeah. in between. Uh, Frank's already made his pick. Okay. Uh, and it's a good pick. You know, I've already made mine, but I'm not going to tell everybody till after we get to the end. But I will pass the list down to you. All right. And Ron will make his choice. Uh, hmm. And we'll see you out there. And uh, <laughs> we'll get the other ones from the. John Gordon and Frank uh, Barton got his, and we'll try to get uh, something from Cooksey on there also. But uh, So talk a lot today about the bird dogs, talk a lot about uh, fishing. Hunting is uh, still rolling on. The rabbit season is going strong. Yep. Again, if you want to book a trip with Billy Montague, all you got to do is go to LarryRay.com. Hey, nothing like some uh, rabbit hunting. Some and, good rabbits fried ooh, in gravy oh, with biscuits. Yeah, yeah, we hadn't been here four minutes, oh. and Ron's already talking about food here, you know. So, uh, And they do have great food at the Ames Plantation in Bryan Hall. Those luncheons every day that they'll serve you out there are wonderful. Is it free? Uh, no, it's not free. The, oh. Those women cook it and all. they got to make this is something. But it's, it's reasonable, or as you say, it's. It's not over. It's underpriced, okay? So it's All worth right. it. So uh, at Ace I think we ought to go out there and have lunch with them. All right. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll try to do that because we got 29 or 30 dogs. I'm not really for sure. So they'll run four dogs a day, Monday through Saturday. So Rick will tell us what it looks like, how many days they might run this thing. And they run in all sorts of weather. I mean, yeah, it's, they uh, will. They, and it's, it's usually really bad sometimes. Uh, that they might get behind, but whatever it might be. Yeah. But I've had so many people, Ron, uh, that have put their shotguns away. They're not rabbit hunting and squirrel hunting right now. They've put their rifle away, 
and uh, they're ready to hit the waters. And I know nobody, so get ready. A lot of people just turn on uh, at 6 o'clock or wherever you might be in Brownsville and Jackson or at 9 here we, as we're on now in Memphis at 9 o'clock. Plenty of time. I, and, I've, and I've heard nothing but good reports from people who love our new time uh, in Memphis. Yeah, from, I do too. From 9 to 1030, we have a lot of new listeners. And so anyway, we still have, and we do this twice a month. With, we'll have bonus Wong later because this, Really, the bonus Wong is going to be special, right, Ron? I mean, should we give yeah. a, a kind of a hint of what's going to come the next time you're on the show? Um, you know how we like to, all the major fishing tournaments, the, the championships. Yes. We always like to try to get a preview show on. Really and, good show. Yeah, yeah, and then, you know, we've got the Red Crest Cup coming up. Uh, That's it. Yeah. At Lake Norman in North Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're going to talk about that this month. I mean, we're going to talk oh, yeah. about on bonus wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It might be a bonus, bonus, bonus. It might be. Double bonus, triple bonus. Yeah. But we're going to talk about that. And then later on in March, you know where the classic's going. It's going back to Knoxville. So, and who, so who, covers the classic, yeah, who covers the classic better than anybody else? That's Outdoors with Larry Ray. Thanks to Ron Wong. I'm sure he'll. He'll get uh, Samantha Gay to help us out. She'll, say, she'll be helping yeah, out, yeah. and she's actually going to be at the Red Crest Cup for a few days. All too, right, so see you there. Help out, so. All right, so we're going to talk about those uh, upcoming. But today, everybody's wanting Ron. All right, give us it. Give us that report, Ron. So well, I got to tell you, you know this weather has been up and down like a yo-yo. <laughs> tell me Cold about it. Cold one day, two tell days. Me. Tell me about warm, it. Warm. Yeah. Uh, Rain, yes. everything else. Yes. And what happened when during that cold snap we had, yeah. the, the water temperatures and uh, surface temperatures in most of the area lakes fell down to the lower to mid 40s. Okay. Uh, 43, 44 degrees, yes. 45. Yeah. Um, now with this uh, warm snap that we've had this week, yeah. uh, the water temperatures have gone back up to 49 to 52 degrees. Okay. And it will probably stay close to that until it really starts warming up there. Yeah. But that's a that's a good number because the fish are starting to move. Uh, uh, there's two things on their mind. One is to eat, Eating. first of all. Yeah. And then the spawning season coming up for crappie sounds and bass. Like, sounds like people, okay? Yeah. I mean, come on. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and because of the rain that we had, yeah. the waters are rising uh, in our I fifty five reservoirs, yes, they are. Yeah, uh, and and not as much as I thought that they would because they're still trying to keep them down for the spring rains. But regardless, the fish are biting. Okay, and uh, so where are you going? Where are you well, going? To if I was going crappie fishing, all right, where I would go where is the tail races of the dams. Okay, uh, and the you know whether it's. Um, uh, down below Sardis, Enid, yeah, or Arca Butler, okay, and yes. and Grenada, yes, those crappie right. are biting really, really good there in the tail races, and you fish the eddies using a um, what? what do you use? Yeah, I'd use a a, a double jig rig, uh, double jig, okay. tied about uh, a foot apart. All right, then I'd use a float, okay, and I would fish those jigs down about. Four to eight feet, I'm depending this down. on okay. depending on how deep the eddy is that you're fishing, and the way to look, see those eddies a yeah. lot of times in these tail races yeah. is you know the the water coming out of the dams will create a foam on the water. Yep, yep. And where the foam is kind of sitting still is the eddy water. Okay, go right into that and let the current kind of carry it down. What about uh, and you don't need to jig it or do anything. And what about colors? No, uh, the best what about colors. Co what yeah. I like to use also is a uh, uh, two one sixteenth ounce uh, yes. jigs. All right, and uh, that's a peanut craft lure jig. Yes, with a um, uh, number a number two hook on it. Okay, a All bigger right. hook. But I like to use something like a tube. That's a uh, black and chartreuse, black and chartreuse, or pink and black. Okay, uh, something bright. Orange and chartreuse works really That's well a good right one. now. Yeah, yeah. They all work really, really good, and and there's some good crappie being caught there. 
There's also some good crappie being caught in the lower lake there at Sardis. Yeah, I saw some. Spider yeah. rigging. Yes, yeah, spider rigging. Spider rigging at yeah. uh, Caps and Coleman. Yes. Double mental rig, five to six feet deep. Are your baits over deep of water? Um, in any of the coves yes. that are in the lower lake, that's working well. Uh, they're catching a bunch of good crappie up there uh, at Kentucky Lake right now. I mean, I'm talking about crappie up to two, two and a quarter pounds. Ooh, okay. All and right. catching those anywhere from 12 to 14 feet deep over brush piles or rock piles. Okay. And, All right. And what they're using is a, a single pole jig, uh, something like a crappie monster. Yes. Or a... Um, a um, um, crappie magnet in a shown-off chartreuse color. All right, you got two minutes. What about bass? People want bass, to know. There's a few bass that are being caught uh, in the reservoirs. Uh, Pickwick is really the best using an umbrella rig. That's right. Yeah. And uh, I like to use a 2.75 and a 3.25 <laughs> race tail swimmer All right. in shad colors. All right. And... Make sure you're using at least 50-pound test braided line. Right. And I like to use a vicious line for that. Yeah, we want that vicious, yes. Yeah, yes, we, sir. We want that. Good stuff. And uh, uh, those fish are biting real well there, either on Kentucky Lake or Pickwick, especially on the main lake points All or right. the flats All right. that are off of the river. All right. We're, we're flat out of time here. Now, uh, Ron, of course, he's not over there. He hadn't written anything down. I mean, this is all coming out of his head. <laughs> you know, he just amazes me. Uh, uh, if we ever get this podcast going, which we keep talking about, once I get my health back right together and I don't have any more tests, we'll get Ryan on the podcast and you will see that he does not have this written down. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if anybody's a fishing report better than Ron Wong. All right, we're going to take our first break of the morning on Outdoors of Larry Ray. Come right back. And we're going to check in with Keith Warner, I hope, uh, talking about how to take care of those rifles and shotguns after the season has ended. We'll be right back on Outdoors of Area. 